of the Matthias H. Chasnall Memorial College of Medicine in Cebu City. I would like to make some footnotes about how vaccines are made. Actually, vaccines are basically obtained from the causative agent itself. There are four types of vaccines. One, first and the most effective is what you call the live attenuated causative agent. So if it is a virus, then, for example, in this case, if it is a COVID virus, then the most effective vaccine would be the live attenuated COVID virus. Now, what do you mean by attenuated? Attenuation is the process of making the organism weak and weak. It cannot reproduce, but it is still alive. The problem with making the vaccine, therefore, is because viruses, especially RNA viruses in this case, are rapidly mutating. As a matter of fact, uh, just two weeks ago or a week ago, I have learned from reliable experts that there had already been 5,000 5, mutations that occurs in the COVID virus, meaning that if the virus is still is mutating very rapidly, then you cannot make an effective vaccine because vaccine must be very specific to a specific organism. So the second type of vaccine is the dead causative agent. So it is to be in patay. The dead is causative agent. And the third type of vaccine is the protein of the vaccine or a portion of it could be made a vaccine. And the fourth type of vaccine is the genome itself of the genetic materials. If that is an RNA, then it should be an RNA, va RNA vaccine. Or if it is a DNA, then it is a DNA vaccine. So the reason why you have to use this is that in vaccination, it is just like training. When you introduce a particular vaccine, that means you're actually making your body trained to recognize the causative agent so that your own immune system, which are the soldiers of the body, can make appropriate antibodies against, against that particular vaccine. So if the is mutating, then you cannot make or you cannot obtain a stable vaccine. Remember that Vaccines are specific, so once there is mutation, it is no longer effective to that particular uh, organism or to that causative agent. And why does it take so long? Because of the, in the genome. Or there might have been many variants of the protein that is hidden in the system. So therefore, it is very, very difficult really to obtain a vaccine. And besides, there is danger of this vaccination because as what we have said, once you have a vaccine, it is actually the causative agent that is most effective and therefore vaccination means deliberate distribution of the causative agent. That's why you will notice that people who are vaccinated usually have an initial reaction of fever because, because of that infectivity. Now, what are the systems that work inside us? There are two types of lymphocytes that works well in the immune system. One is called that the cell-mediated immunity. The cell-mediated the cell -mediated immunity is a responsibility of the T lymphocytes. And this is where your natural killer T cells, the cytotoxic T cells, the suppressor T cells, and the... Yeah, the, the cytotoxic T cells. Now, so, so therefore, if you are going to look at it, it's like this. Once there is the infective agent and it enters into a system, it is then infecting a cell. And then this infective cell or the infected cell will now be recognized by the helper T cells. The helper T cells will then report to the B cell 
for the B cell to make appropriate antibody for that appropriate infected agent. And so it's so it's the work of the T cells and the B cells. Once the B cell will now know that there is a causative agent, they will now immediately multiply, you call it the the what you call the B B B cell uh, that will proliferate faster after they have after the T cells will now uh, will now report to the B cell. So the B cell will now rapidly uh, produce the protein. That's why for in particular infection, you have to wait about three to five days before an antibody could be produced because it takes time for the proteins to be developed under the direction of the B cells. So the B cells are responsible for directing the natural killer T cells to attack the infected cells or to attack or immobilize the active agent. Or it's not only the active agent, but they can also immobilize even the byproducts of that particular infective agent. That's, that's, that's how the, the vaccine works. So that's why it's very important to note that Developing uh, an immune system is a very, very crucial in the life of human being. It's between from zero to 10 years old. From zero to 10 years old is the perfect uh, cascade of time that develops the cascade of proteins that will now make ready the body to be able to respond to any form of infective agents in the future so that it was, I learned it from my uh, molecular immunology is that you sh we should prevent giving uh, anti antibiotics to children below 12, 10 years old so that this cascade of events in developing innate immunity is hampered when a particular child is given an antibiotic. So remember that children who are fond of being given antibiotics are more likely sickly when they get old because their immune system is not fully developed. So what is needed for them is what you call adaptive immunity. And that is where your, your vaccination is uh, being programmed. That's why children are programmed to have adaptive immunity by introducing the vaccines when they are still infant so that they will be able to recognize or train the body to produce the antibodies is, is responsible for uh, crippling the microorganism and or neutralizing the products of the causative agent. And that is why, uh, to some extent, to some extent, it is also good to have vaccination in order for the body to be trained because the purpose of vaccination is for the body to be trained to recognize the causative agent and its byproducts so that the body could be able to produce appropriate antibody for appropriate antigen. So this is actually the secret of vaccination. So when you see vaccination, meaning deliberate distribution of the causative agent, that is the danger of the vaccination. I remember one time when I was at the Veterans Hospital in Chicago, Illinois, as a medical scientist, Accordingly, it was said that why is it that when Filipinos are being tested in America, it is always positive for tuberculosis? It is because we were given the dose of tuberculosis vaccine when we were still, we were still in, in our infancy or childhood. So that that particular, particular uh, mechanism actually is the reason why we are positive for tuberculosis because we have been introduced to tubercle bacilli when we were still a child. And remember, especially for the viruses, the viruses could reinsert or insert their own genetic materials to the host. So if the host, the problem with the vaccine is sometimes some viruses, for example, the HIV virus, develop a system to destroy the T cells, the helper T cells, and the helper T cells are the one responsible for informing the B cells that there is an infective agent. So therefore, in HIV, the problem is 
the helper T cells which is supposed to report to B cell is being destroyed. That's why a person infected with HIV is called immune deficient, uh, acquired immune deficiency syndrome because, why deficient? Because the T cells which are part of the T, T cell system or the cellular mediated immunity is destroyed by the virus. So that's the reason why they are virulent. So dear, my dear hearers and followers, thank you very much for listening and thank you. Bye-bye.